Okay, here is our second look. KPO DX5000 Plus. We're just going to look at the board. So here we can see there's a lot of open real estate. You got your uh, face. Let me try to flip the camera. You can see your face plate there. Ribbon cables connect. And then you got your circuit board. So number one, no adjustable locations. Number two, no um, can. You know, normally on a sideband radio, you have that can in there that, you know, you can adjust the frequency offsets a little bit. You don't have that in this radio. They don't allow you to do any of that stuff. And that was my main concern when I heard about this radio is how, did, how are they going to do that and make a radio that's going to stay on frequency and if it's not on frequency out of the box how are you going to compensate that well i the only way you could have is with the unlocked clarifier and this radio does have that option but you don't need to use it at all um, the radio comes out of the box 100 percent on frequency and i'm going to demonstrate that for you guys here so uh what are we on 10 meter 28.3 we're on lower sideband so let me grab a microphone just one second okay so i'm just going to demonstrate the sideband for you guys i got just a regular unmodulated mic here we got the mic gain on the radio up all the way the rf powers up all the way now keep in mind guys this is a four pin radio so this is just a standard mic you know you guys have seen these probably they're decent mic by uh, any mean they're a good mic but uh here's our hf radio right here so we'll transmit and, uh, you know, you guys can hear, hopefully you can hear the uh, audio coming through the radio more than you can hear me in the camera. So, uh, I mean, it's right on frequency. There's nothing that I would have to do to, you know, adjust anything. Maybe I can change the... There we go. That might be a little bit better. So there we go. I had the uh, filter a little too wide because on AM, when I listen to guys on AM, I like to have a little bit wider filter. And uh, on sideband, I like to have a little bit more of a narrow filter. So uh, that's one of the advantages of running a radio like this radio here you're looking at on the screen is you can, you can adjust the filter a little bit for your receiver. But uh, as far as the uh, transmit and the modulation, the uh, frequency-wise, it's right on frequency. And here's our power output. Uh, you know, we're doing close to 40 watts or so. Hello, radio. One, two, three, four. We got a 50 watt, 50 watt element in there. So you know, it's doing just fine. So that's our uh, that's our lower. Now let's go to upper because if technically if we were on this portion, we would be on upper. So. And it'll be the same. So here's our upper right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Check, check, check. Here's our output. One, two, three, four. Hello, radio. And there's our uh, frequency as far as you know what the radio here is picking up. And again, there's nothing on. There's no uh, receive incremental tuning or any of that stuff on. So you know, if I turn it on, it's right there. But you know, one, two, then I'm off frequency. You see that RIT's on at 100. So last time I talked to somebody, they were a little off frequency, so I did use the RIT. But if I put it to zero, oh, it's on, but we're not adjusting for anything. So that's the quality that you get out of this radio. And again, the cover is off the radio, so that's unheard of. That you know, even with the cover off the radio, you're still fully on frequency. So they've done something in this circuit board to uh, take the whole temperature component of the circuit board out. There's no factor of temperature or anything anymore because, you know, yeah, you can align a sideband radio with the cover off, no problem. But nine times out of ten, as soon as you put that bottom cover on the radio and let it sit, it's going to change. It's just the way they're designed because they have those, um, those little cans and that little adjustment in there that you need that little fine tip non-conductive uh, tool to adjust. Well, th this radio has none of that and it still works great even with the cover off. So, I mean, not that I would recommend running your radio with your cover off, but if you do, it's not going to affect you whatsoever. And maybe, you know, if you're running this thing like all day, 
contesting or something, maybe you can just take the cover off, stick an external speaker on the jack, on the back, unplug the little speaker off the board, and run this thing with the cover off if you really wanted to, if you were worried about heat building up. Um, that's totally up to the user, but you can see here on the back, on the cover, it does have ventilation, so it will ventilate itself. Now, of course, with the radio laying down on a desk or something, it's not going to be able to ventilate itself through the bottom or, in our case, through the top. But it does have ventilation on the top as well. So that's basically the board, guys. I'm just showing you the board. Um, should I show you guys some of the stuff down in there? There are uh, different revisions of this board. Now, certain manufacturers are going to have certain things on the board that they want. Uh, KPO wanted certain things. What they did want is, I believe this is your noise reduction circuit right here. Um, as far as I know, other radios will have a similar board to this, but they will not have the noise reduction circuit. So, uh, the only radio... To my knowledge right now that has that in this class which would be a 10 meter only radio basically and we're not talking hf radios would be this radio and trust me if you've never used a noise reduction circuit like if you've never owned an hf radio or had a buddy that had one and watched them turn on your noise reduction when the band is really active it really makes a difference and it's very enjoyable to turn that function on and listen to how much better the receiver is and basically you're just hearing the people you're not hearing all that background noise and all that ear noise and and this radio gives you that option so to me that's a great feature that you cannot find in any other radio in this style so of course this radio has one you can see right there it just took out all that background noise so now if we talk hello radio one two three four five six check 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 one two so See if we can turn up the volume a little bit. Hello, radio. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a little harder to demonstrate uh, being so close to the receiving radio, but uh, I I really enjoy using a noise reduction circuit. I just think that it really cleans up the signal. Otherwise, you gotta listen to this. Now, again, some people like that, and that's fine. And if you like listening to the static, you don't have to run it. It's just an optional feature that you've never had before in a 10 meter radio or even like a CB radio. So, you know, hopefully that's something we'll see more of in the future uh, on different makes and models. But I really don't know because right now these are the only guys that have it and it's good for them and bad for everybody else, in my opinion. So uh, that's kind of, and the same thing goes for, you know, the board here it's good for them that they've been the first one to release a radio with this board it's very good for them they're the first ones to do it and it works great so again i know there's going to be some people that are skeptical of a new radio it's normal i understand uh, i just want to honestly tell you guys that i'm completely satisfied with this radio and as far as like using it on single sideband i don't want to use anything else that i own I, this it's going to be this radio now of course you know i can use my hf rigs and stuff like that but as far as like something that's like 10 meter and you know other bands as well it's going to be this radio over anything else i own and that's just my honest opinion there's really nothing else i have that i can say definitively works better than this radio on sideband yeah there's other radios that do more power but that doesn't mean they work better it just means they do more power so just keep that in mind as well i don't consider power output a factor in what radio i want to run power output to me you can always give yourself more power with like an external amplifier or something like that i'm not a big power guy where i would say well yeah i would get that radio because it's going to do more power over a radio that's going to be functionally and operationally better so that's kind of my uh take on that that's just my honest opinion so everybody has their own operating practices and what they feel is best for their their setup so you know and i understand that and take all that into consideration now the am on this radio is good it will probably be um something that you know some guys will say well you just don't have that really loud punch and you know this radio is set up to be very very clean so what i mean by that is the modulation is not going to be distorted it's not going to be overblown you're not going to 
hear someone, like if I'm talking to you on this radio, you're not going to tell me, hey, can you do me a favor and turn down your modulation? You just don't sound good. You're, you're distorted. You're too loud. You're not going to hear that when you're using this radio, so you never have to worry about that. And, and we all know what I'm saying. Sometimes you hear people like that, and sometimes they don't even know they're doing it. It's not even their fault. And, and sometimes what I compare that to is like if you have a nice stereo set up in your house or in your car, you got good speakers, good quality rec stereo receiver, and just a very good uh, song, something that you like, some music that you like playing. And it's at a very high level, but it sounds pleasant and it's enjoyable and it relaxes you. And then somebody comes along and they take your volume dial and they just go all the way up. And now all of a sudden that same song that you like that makes you feel relaxed when you hear it, makes you feel happy. All of a sudden now it's, it's disturbing and it's distressful to you because your eardrums are about to blow out. And that's kind of what I relate that to. Sometimes there, you can actually do that to your radio. And, you know, it's not pleasant for the other people that are talking to you to listen to. And, you know, if you just back it down, you know, it can be more enjoyable for everybody. And, and that's what I mean by that. And I'm not saying that people do that on purpose. Sometimes they just don't know the radios like that. So it's just kind of the way it is. But you don't have, you never have to worry about that on this radio. You're going to get quality reports. People say, wow. They might not say anything, but sometimes when people don't say anything, that means you're doing great. Nobody's really commenting on how you sound. In some ways, take that as a compliment, because if they're not complaining, which sometimes on radio, people like to complain more than they do, like, congratulate you. So, you know, if you're not hearing anything bad, it means you're doing something good, in my opinion. So... I'll let you guys listen to the AM really quick here if we can do it. I'm going to adjust that filter back for a little wider uh, stance. I go with 9 kilohertz wide. It's kind of a wide filter for AM, but I like how it sounds. So, 1, 2, 1, 2. Let's see. And I'm sorry I got the radio upside down. The whole purpose of the video was me showing you the board, so... One two, one two, check check. One two, three four, one two. So you can hear it's a nice, clear and clean sound. It's not uh, overblown. And again, I'm just using that Superstar mic. I'm not, uh, I'm not hitting it with like a power mic or anything like that. But uh, here's our power output. We got a 50 watt element in there. We're in peak envelope power. You know, as I'm talking, we're doing about 40, 35, 40 the whole time. So I'm not. I'm not yelling, I'm not hooting and hollering into the microphone. Uh, I, I don't really do that stuff, I just like to talk. And you can see with certain words, you know, as I'm talking, the watt meter kind of fluctuates, but we're not really ever going under 30 watts as I talk, so. And it looks like we're decking about 14 watts or so. So that that's kind of what we have there for AM. Uh, I'll try to put the uh, camera up to the speaker a little bit closer there, but that, that's our AM. Now, if we add a little echo in, of course, we can, you, you know, we can add a little bit of, like, uh, excitement or, or something like that to the audio. So let's just do that really quick, just to show you guys kind of what you can do. Because, I mean, some guys like to run, and I'm not against that either. Like, sometimes a little echo can really uh, make the radio sound better. So let's see. I just uh, adjusted it a little bit. You know, check, one, two, check, check. So there we go. So now we got like a, a little bit of echo in there, like an effect. And uh, you know, it just adds a little something to the audio. So I'm not against any of that. You know, I like good uh, clean audio and I like adding a little something to it myself, you know. Uh, the radio does have a Roger beep and I'm really not against those either. I mean, I like all that stuff. It's all radio and you can adjust that. Roger beep how you want. Uh, normally with these I set it up like a uh, HR President HR 2510 style Roger beep. Just a nice subtle little beep. I think out of the box I'll show you guys what it sounds like. Not really a big fan of this. It's kind of it's not very loud and it's kind of long. But again, you know, you can change that to whatever you want, so. So yeah, this is the, uh, 
the new KPO DX5000 Plus. I think it's a nice radio. I'm really happy with it. And uh, I hope that I can share it with some of you guys and you guys will enjoy it. You know, I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I am. So, I've sold a couple of them already. Um, I'm not sure if the customers have had a chance to use them yet. I'm hoping that they enjoy them. Um, I mean, I speak very highly of it. I, I like it. And I hope that what I like, other people will like. And I, I'm pretty confident they will. Um, it doesn't take a lot, like I say, to make me happy. Number one, the radio is spot on frequency. So again, for me as a more of a sideband operator, like to find a radio finally that actually can out of the box is perfect. To me, that just blows me away. Like, right then and there, I'm sold on this radio. As soon as I turned it on, that was the first thing I did. Is I clicked over to lower sideband, dialed up the frequency on this radio, and started talking. And it was right there. And right then and there, like, I, I was 100% sold on this radio. I didn't care about anything else about it at that point. It, 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 it caught my attention, and it was right there front and center. So, I hope that you guys, um, you know, get a chance to try one of these out. I only have, I think I have like nine of them right now, so I probably will not sell this one considering that I just opened the warranty seal. So, you know, uh, you guys, if you do buy one of these from me, you will get a warranty from KPO only, so that's who does the warranty. And I believe that, you know, you'll have to send it back to them if there ever was a problem with the radio. That's the stipulation with that. So you'd have to send it to them. And then they would either repair or replace or however that would work. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, the radios work good as long as you take care of it and operate it in a uh, safe and, you know, manner that's not going to cause damage to the radio. I don't foresee any problems with the radio. Because number one, you can't go in and over adjust anything because the radio simply just doesn't allow it. So that right there is going to save a lot of people a lot of trouble with the radio. So I think it's smart what they're doing. So... Uh, I hope you guys have a good weekend, and, um, you know, I'll try to make, like, a live video or something one of these days. Having one of these on my bench, just, like, receiving on the antenna, and uh, we'll put the little webcam that I have. I haven't done that in a long time, so maybe I'll do that with one of these, just so that you guys can kind of watch how the radio works. When, you, when I'm not here and you don't have to listen to me, I'll just set it up and let it do its thing. So, like I say, I hope everybody, uh, you know takes what I'm saying, you know, and understands that, you know, when I really like something, I like to talk about it. I just don't want to come on here and ramble and keep going on. But again, I'm very impressed by the radio. Um, I've never seen the things that I've seen this radio do on anything else. So again, I have other stuff and Frank, like I said before, I really don't want to run any of it. There's really nothing that I have that is up to the quality of this one. So you guys might think that's silly and think that, you know, other stuff is better. And again, everybody, like I had said before, has a different outlook on their radio equipment. Some guys justify um, how good a radio is by how much power it puts out and everything else. So that that's the uniqueness of the hobby is everybody likes the hobby for some other reason. So... Take care, everybody, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. I do have a... I posted a link if anyone's interested in buying one of these on my YouTube channel. It should show up on, like, your feed if you're scrolling through YouTube, the people that you subscribe to. It will show up on there. Otherwise, if someone's interested in one of these, you can always contact me at my email address. It's sales at scottsradiosllc.net. I usually make a test video for the customer on these before I send it out. I just want to make sure everything's working and kind of show them what they're going to get. And then I ship them out, usually with UPS ground. It just depends on where you live. Sometimes, depending on certain areas of the United States, the UPS charges me a surcharge. And it's kind of a ridiculous amount. And if usually if that's the case, then I go with like priority mail or something. So it's just... Uh, you know, I'm paying the shipping, so at a certain point, you know, if UPS says, well, depending on where you live, it's going to cost me ten more dollars to ship it, just based on the residence and where where you're located. I don't know if it's due to like someone lives too far away from the UPS hub or something like that. But if that's the case, then it'll probably go like priority mail. So, thanks again. 
I hope everybody is having a good day and a good weekend. 7-3.